Hello, I'm Mike Jones. I'm the leader of your new council, Cheshire West and Chester. This council is replacing the four existing councils and in doing so we are not looking to recreate any of the existing councils in the way they do things. We are looking on building on best practice and creating a new council with a new culture and a new way of doing things. Something that's fresh, lively, innovative and creative and exciting. Something that the members can be proud of and you as residents can be proud of being associated with. We are looking at how our members can integrate themselves and become involved, fully involved, in your communities to work with and support you in living and improving your quality of life. We want our members to be champions within their communities and in doing so you'll see following on from this uh, short interviews with your ward councillors so that you can recognise who they are. They're making commitments and promises to be more involved in your community and to assist you and your community groups in delivering those improvements within your communities. I'm uh, Brian Crow. I'm uh, one of the three members in Mickle Trafford Ward. Uh, yes, uh, the leader has talked about getting closer to the communities and uh, I think we agree with him on that. And my particular view is that uh, we should support our new area forums, which are um, meeting places for, for com individuals and communities that want to make a difference in the, in the area. Uh, they're going to meet um, every six weeks or every two months, certainly. Uh, and they will be well advertised and they'll travel around um, the, the ward um, to help everybody with the travelling. And if you've got an issue or you feel you make a difference or, you, or you're interested in a particular topic, uh, please come along. You, you'd be made very welcome. I'm Eleanor Johnson. I've been a city councillor for some years and a county councillor also. I'm now on this new authority, which is very exciting. Um, I'm also a parish councillor, and I feel parish councils do a wonderful work in our villages. Uh, and I think one of my aims and objectives to get local is to support the parish councils in their aims and objectives, and the issues that are, are relevant to them are relevant to us. I'm Andrew Starr. I'm part of this team, and part of this team is to keep it local. I think the uh, concerns of the local people on housing, transport, security, policing and employment are something that they can bring to the local forums and air their views. And I think it's most important that the people are welcome to these forums to express their concerns to us, the Mickle Trafford team. One of the major issues that we all face here in the, the Mickle Trafford ward, uh, and it's of concern to everybody, uh, are, are highways issues, uh, where, where we have motorists speeding through the villages. We have all got concerns uh, over the parking outside schools when children are going to school and, and indeed when they're leaving. Um, and we, we have to do our very best to address them, um, which is we, we have to consult with the schools and we have to, of course, consult with the highways authority. Mickle Trafford is largely a rural ward and allied with highways we have the issue of public transport where it is difficult to make public transport pay and the subsidy for public transport which has been coming from the local authorities has got to be continued for the rural areas. Sometimes villages such as Saul can ride on the back of others such as Blaken but when you get out into the more rural wards particularly the older people, cannot use public transport for one reason or another. The links aren't there, and I think it's one of the things that makes us local, the provision of local transport. I have been um, very pleased to be asked to be champion for looked after children and also chairman of Every Child Matters Select Panel. So schools and education really mean a lot to me, and I want to make sure that the schools within our ward get the funding that they deserve and the children get the right start in life that they deserve because education is everything to a child. This extra funding that uh, we're bringing into the community will not be for um, projects that the council has already got in its pipeline. These, this will be for extra projects that we feel that are worthy and uh, 
will help in the community that every resident, one would hope, would, could ben benefit from. There is an issue of affordable housing. We are addressing it, but it takes a long time. Affordable housing is allied with family housing, and I wouldn't want to get hung up on just affordable housing because everybody needs housing. I'd like a broad brush approach from the new authority on providing housing across the whole of the social spectrum. We have a scheme in mind, it's just the funding of that scheme. It has to be realised that in, certainly in the larger uh, villages in, in, the, uh, in the ward that there are some pockets of antisocial behaviour um, and these have got to be addressed. Um, I'm not quite sure how, uh, but uh, we're, we've got to work out it. We've got to liaise with the schools. We've got to liaise with the with the youth, with the youth clubs, which we all do. Uh, and uh, we generally want to work for the with the community for the community, and, and that's what being local is all about. Under the new uh, unitary authority arrangements, each of us will be given a sum of money to help our communities, and together we've agreed to use this in a concerted effort. Now then, this money, it won't be the on only the individual money, it can be used to leverage in more money to help our communities. I would hope that we'd be able to pump prime local small organisations with this funding so they can bring more money into the area which will help them, the community, the residents and everybody be a winner.